Hi dear, how you all doing? I'm here to talk about Jeannie Mae and Jay Z divorce. Men are getting more fed up of women attitude. For example, I have a really hot temper. Not a lot of people know this, but it's just something in my family. I've seen it in my grandmother. I'm sorry, I seen, saw it in my grandfather, to my grandmother, to my mom, to my aunts, to me, mm -hmm. right? But I didn't notice it in myself until I was with Jeezy. Interesting. You didn't notice in your previous marriage? No, no. Because I, because it has to do with the type of relationship you have and the type of respect you have for that person to mirror things back to you where you actually would stop you in your tracks and evaluate yourself, you know? So you had it. So I had it, but nobody it ever, nobody ever called me out on it. Also in my line of work, sometimes being a boss isn't so, isn't so great for you because you have a lot of people who just agree to what you want. They're, mm -hmm. they're yes men, right? And so I didn't notice that I had a hot temper until I got with Jeezy. And here's a person who is my equal and I really respect. And when I would spew some of my old habits and he was like, uh-uh, like who, that's not flying here. And also it would trigger him to come back at me with things where I was like, who do you think you are? But I was triggering him. So through work, we learned that we both have certain habits that to the everyday person from friends, family, fans, they'll never see it. Mm -hmm. But to the person who loves us deep enough, you can press that button and boom, the dragon comes out. And we both have it. So we had to work on that. But he never told me to fix my temper. He, I just saw it and I thought, it, unless I want to stay in this place where I lose this person I love and I stay in my comfort zone of doing what I want to do and function the way I have for the last 40 years when nobody else had to stop me. Which obviously has done quite well for you. Right, I could have. But this was something greater that I wanted and also a great challenge to myself to say, what if now that I know it exists and the dragon's there, what if I got rid of that? How do I kill that dragon or store it in its place so that it never creates havoc in my life? And that took work. So for me, I think I don't want somebody who doesn't change. I want you to change and grow. If it means growing into an even better version of what I fell in love with. Mm -hmm. I believe from the moment you were mentioning about that you have a temper and you know that you have to deal with it, from those times your marriage was in trouble. I believe in my own opinion, at that moment when you identify that you have a temper and you identify that you need to work on it, even though you were saying that your husband did not say to you that you need to fix it, I believe initially that he did mention it to you. Maybe not in so many words, but it is something that he have said along the line why you came out and was talking about it. And um, a lot of w women have temper. I myself um, have a temper, but I know how to control my temper. You have to learn to control your temper. Of course, you're going to be upset. Of course, something is going to happen, you know, but you can talk, but you have to show respect still. All right. So what I want to talk about is going forward, because now Jay-Z has filed for divorce from you. You know, this is a lesson for us women to learn. Sometimes, you know, we have the butter hand and we throw away for the one a bush. It's just an old Jamaican proverb. In another Jamaican proverb it goes by the saying that you swap black, black dog for monkey. Another Jamaican proverb say you jump out of frying pan and jump in a fire. But I'm gonna go with the one that you jump out of frying pan and in a fire and go in a fire. Because you were with your husband for thirteen years. It might not be a cup of tea cup of coffee, cup of Milo, and everything that you want him to be. But at least he did respect you. He did love you. You can see that he loved you. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. For him to be with you for 13 years, he wanted children. You did not want to give him children. He did not go outside the marriage and he did not cheat it on you because that's what you said. He did not tell you any lies, you know. That to show that he, he, he genuinely did love you. He tolerate your bad behavior for 13 years. Yes, and you filed for, for divorce on him and leave him. 
after leaving him, you get married to Jay-Z. And the same thing that you said you did not want to, to do is the same thing you did for, for Jay-Z. Your first husband really loved you, Jeannie. Your first husband did want to have a life with you, Jeannie. But you throw that away. You throw that away. Your first husband genuinely loved you. I'm not saying Jay-Z did not love you. But the first husband loved you to the extent that he have been tolerating with your bad behavior for 13 years. And he did not leave you. He did not cheat on you. That to show that he have a level of respect for you. Now that you get married to Jay-Z, you have a child for him. And then what happened? Jay-Z filed divorce on you. You did not take into consideration that he have other children and he's not with none of those children mother. He leave them. Why would you think that he's going to stay with you? Sometimes we women pull a wool over our eyes. Sometimes we women are our worst enemies. We break our own heart. In this case, you broke your own heart, Jeannie. In this case, yes, you shoot yourself in the foot. Because this man that you were with for 13 years loved you, respected you, put up with your foolishness, and more. He might not have enough money as Jay-Z, but he did love you genuinely. He did love you genuinely. And this is the reason why you should have stood by him. You know, sometimes we think that the grass is greener on the other side. But many times the grass is not greener on the other side. Yes, but I think that Jay-Z did love you, but your temper, your attitude, make him stop loving you at some point. And one thing I can say, I value man. They will not tolerate a woman who shout at them, keep tabs on them, Art Billy to them. I value man don't do that. Remember, I value man have so many women running after them. And when I say I value man, I mean man who knows what they're about. Man who's going somewhere in society where the value keep on increasing every day. You know, we women, sometimes we behave as if we are the price. When a man married to us and we start having children, we are no longer the price, my dear. We might think in our mind that we are the price, but no. A lot of time we are the one who break up our own home. Right? Remember, there are so many women outside. And when you're with a high value man, there are so many women for them to choose and refuse from. And if you are not matching their energy, they can find thousands of women to match their energy. And um, at that point when you mentioned that you wanted to fix your temper, that's the point when, it, when, when the line was drawn. Because for you to come out and talk about it, that means the ass has already gone through the gate. Yes. At that point when you were talking about it, Jeannie, the ass already gone through the gate. And I think that your husband did not tell you because he was true with you. Many times men will not tell you what they are thinking when they come to a decision that, you know what? I'm finished. If a man really want to work things out with you, they will drop little hints here and there. For you to shape yourself up, they will drop a little in now and then. Because it's not every man is a talkative man. Sometimes they will drop in. You need to take that, those in. Some of them will outright tell you. But when you see a man go silent, you know that it is. That's it. He talk. He give you in. He give you ideas. He give you in and nothing change. And he goes silent. That's it. It's finished. Remember, man is not 
emotional like women. Man is more, they more geared to, 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 to want respect from a woman. While a woman need emotional support from a man. So a man can easily detach from a woman. Yes, they might like the way you have, you know, intercourse or so with them. They might like a certain thing about you and they will still enjoy it. But at that point, they are still emotionally detached from you and you are not even know it. Even when you look at your, um, your trip that you go back to your country, the trip that you take um your husband back to your country, you can see that he, he, he emotional sign out long time. <laughs> that trip that you took to your country, your husband was emotional checked out already. And um, I feel for you because I can see that you really, really, really did love him. But sometimes we have some, 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 some attitude, some behavior where we have to work on. I too have things that I need to work on. Every one of us do. But it's good when we can identify it, you know, and do something about it before it's too late. Okay, guys, there you have it. Jeannie talking about her hot temper. A lot of women can learn one or two things from Jeannie. Um, lives, so what happened in our divorce and in our marriage and also when we have a man who love us and value us and respect us we must take good care of them no man is perfect every man have their own flaws just like all every woman have their flaws so when we have a man a good man yeah that love us support us and stand by us we are to treat them well and treat them right all right this is like karma for Jeannie, the way she dealt with her first husband. And now this is what happened to her. Karma is always coming back at you when you do something that is not right. All right? Hope you learn from this, guys. Be blessed now, okay? Bye. Walk good. Bye-bye.